Y'all, what's up? All right, listen, I graduate in two months. Actually, a little less than that, which is crazy to me that I have gone through four years at Point Park University, four years in film school. Um, I wanted to make this video because I feel like when I was applying to Point Park, there wasn't anything that guided me or like told me what it would be like if I went or what I would learn. I remember searching the internet and Googling, is film school worth it? Like, should I go to film school to be a filmmaker? Like, you know, is the cost of going to film school worth it? And I will be answering that at the end of the video. Hopefully um, this video will help guide your decision or at least, you know, get you thinking about where you might want to apply to school. So one of the first questions I want to answer is uh, like, how soon do you start doing cinema stuff and how do you choose like your concentration? Um, to be honest, I went into Point Park really having a love of screenwriting and I still do, but ultimately I really fell in love with the whole idea of production and then just decided to take screenwriting classes. First of all, you're thrown in freshman year, you know, first semester, and I had three cinema classes. I just wanted to get right into the meat of cinema, which was great because at Point Park, you have an intro to screenwriting class, an uh, intro to cinema class, um, history of like American cinema or international to start off with. So it was awesome because you're already having classes with people who you're gonna be having classes with the next four years who are in your same department. You're getting those connections. It's almost like I was living in a dream, you know? You watch these like silly rom-com or Disney Channel shows about, you know, these kids going to an art school where the whole day of like this creative explosion and as freshmen we got to visit the sets that these upperclassmen work on so um the next semester do your production one class which was super fun because that is your first like hands-on filmmaking class so it's a three minute film you get to make um which seems like oh three minute film that's not a lot but it was a great exercise and it taught me early on that you know, you may have ideas as big as the sky, but sometimes for these short films, you have to scale them down and focus on telling a complete and interesting story in the time that's given to you. You get assigned a group of three, you get to be a director slash writer and then cinematographer, and then you have a person on sound, I believe. The end of the semester, you know, you edit it all together and you present it for critique. P1 films that, you know, were voted by the class are sent to showcase and they screen them in this big open auditorium and it's really fun and you get to go and celebrate with all your friends, you know, about your accomplishments. So P1 was really a fun exploratory time. I don't think my P1 was particularly good, but that's okay. It kind of lit a fire under my butt and I, really decided to go all in for my production two class. Okay, so sophomore year at Point Park was very interesting. Um, over the summer between my freshman and sophomore year, I had a lot of time to work on my pre-production for my big production two class. So this was the class that we kind of honed in. This was gonna be the film that we were gonna send to um, our professors to see where our concentration was gonna be. So it was kind of, it was a very stressful, I gotta say, there's definitely a shift from freshman to sophomore year where things got a little bit more real. Um, we also had some other writing classes and like visual analysis, which was great because we learned really about like just images and films and how production design and cinematography are really used to tell the story. So similar thing, we had our production two showcase. It was a blast. Um, I finally got my film into production two showcase, which was so much fun. And even more fun than that, we had like a people showcase where we just invited all of our friends over and did like a little screening of everyone's films and kind of celebrated them. Felt like everyone was just like, we've kind of got to know everyone. We were a year into, you know, our time at Point Park and everyone was kind of developing their own voice as a filmmaker, which is super cool to watch and see and to discover your own as well. Um, so second semester COVID hit. So basically that semester do your intermediate and advanced electives. And this is where you start figuring out where your niche is, you know? So you start taking classes like intermediate screenwriting, directing, cinematography, editing, sound, and producing. And so you kind of pick and choose a couple of those to concentrate in. We learned new cameras, which was really cool. The school had like the Sony F5 and the Sony FS7. We learned those. Um, and then for editing, just kind of looking at editing, not only as just how you learn Premiere or Avid or those different 
types of programs, but how you use editing to tell a story. You know, that was my sophomore year in a nutshell. It was crazy. It started with production two, very stressful, crazy event, and then ended with COVID. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. Okay, so. We are now at a point in the tale, junior year. I feel like junior year is always kind of like the make or break <laughs> moment. And for me, especially because I did, did college during COVID and for many others my age, it was kind of a little bit of a mess and a little bit crazy, but I still got a lot out of my educational experience at Point Park. So fall of my junior year and that kind of summer, I did um, kind of take a semester break and worked on some independent films on my own. Um, and then that spring semester was our production three films. So after our sophomore year, we had to apply, we had to send in all of the stuff that we made and apply for a certain position for production three. And then the faculty would pick which people were in which position for their production three films. So the school would give us money to produce these films. Um, so I got the chance to direct um, a production three and it was so awesome. So that spring was crazy. Um, we shot in the sound stage for six days. It was definitely high pressure. I worked with people that I never worked with before, which was awesome because sometimes you do get into a tendency of working with the same people over and over again. And that's where things get stilted, right? And so it was really awesome that to branch out and get to work with people that I never have before. So I did my P3. It was awesome. It went well, it was stressful and crazy, but it was such a great learning experience because I got to learn and use equipment that you know I didn't get to use yet we got to use the soundstage which was awesome because it's this soundstage in space and we got to create our own um, look with it I had got to work with people that were dedicated to a certain role and I think that was the biggest thing because in the real world right when you're a director you're not also going to be the production designer and the cinematographer and you're doing all these things that's not just going to happen um, in the real world right you're assigned a role and you stick to that role and so P3 really emphasized that. They really emphasized that, you know, if you're the director, you're the director. Have a production designer that you have meetings with about the look of the film and a cinematographer. So that was just such a fun experience. And like, honestly, it's crazy. And it's like all the hype around like, oh, your junior thesis film, you know, it was really chill on set. Like we had a blast. Like you'll see in some of these clips from behind the scenes, we were just chilling, having a great time because at that point when you're on set, you just have to rely that all you did, that all the work you did leading up to it pays off. And then you just have to trust the process and run a smooth production. So while I was doing P3 though, I also was doing advanced electives, which was crazy. I don't know why I decided to do that to myself, but it was awesome. I did advanced directing and advanced cinematography. Um, so that was great because I just got a lot more practice within that craft. You learned a lot more doing scene studies, doing a one -er exercise, which was great. Um, and in cinematography, we just kind of dived deeper into how to learn the camera and um, just having more experience hands-on with these different types of cameras. So yeah, that was pretty much my junior year. It was crazy. Like looking back on that time, even though it was like totally insane, um, with COVID and everything and it was you know kind of scary like I learned so much and I think I even grew more as a filmmaker because I had to work within the constraints that COVID gave us. There were certain things like there only could be certain a number of characters or people on set because of COVID and it really forced you as a filmmaker and just as an individual to think creatively about things like how can I get a quality product you know and do it safely and do it within these constraints that are put on me. All right, so senior year happened and I was really kind of burnt out at the end of junior year. I'm not gonna lie. It was the first time that I like had my own apartment too. So I was like, you know, crazily working on that kind of stuff and all those films. And so I was like, I need a break. So I applied to the Disney college program um, and the school was awesome about helping me get credits for that program. Um, it was great. I went down and did the Disney College program from June to about September-ish. Um, and it was awesome. I got to work at Disney World and just meet a lot of really cool people while I was working on my senior thesis film. And I will say, you know, different schools do different things, but at Point Park, they were really, really awesome at 
giving me flexibility, you know, because I was like, hey, I've always wanted to do this Disney college program thing. I think now is the right time to do it. Um, can I also do this senior thesis class and kind of do a hybrid like online situation? And they were awesome about it. You know, both Disney programs and Point Park were so great. And it was great that I got to experience, you know, that while still staying on course to graduate on time. So if there's a program or an internship, you know, during your time at Point Park or at any film school that you want to go for, I would say go for it. Um, and just give it a shot. You know, I did end up leaving a little bit before my program was scheduled to be done because like this, the amount of work that uh, production four requires you, um, I felt like my focus was kind of divided and I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to feel like, you know, I had to shift my focus between the two things. So I did end up going um, back to Point Park around end of September um, and then I helped out on a ton of different production four sets and production four is kind of like your end-all be-all right it's your senior thesis film um, you work on it all year long so you have your entire senior year to work on it um, if you're the director you know you form your crew you get to pick who is you know on what position um, and you fundraise yourself for it you cast it you know you do all the location stuff everything like that it is a full process and these are 12 minute films so you know this senior year is really about okay you've made all these short films now it's time to perfect your craft you know you did this great cool collaborative thing with everybody in p3 now it's time to make it your own and kind of there's a lot less guidance in p4 right when we meet for classes it's usually like screenings like we screen a cut we get feedback from the faculty and students and then we do it again you know until the end of the year and then the first part again is like oh you know here's my pre-production presentation about everything you know that this film is gonna hope to accomplish and then we get feedback and yada 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 so it's a lot less like learning or them just throwing information at you because they did that the past three years this is really about okay it's your time to bring what you learned to the table and show us which is really refreshing honestly it's nice to come into class and not have to sit through like a lecture you know and just like watch your peers work and give critiques on it so um, it's interesting and it's also great because you can do things like independent studies or you know you can do some electives that you didn't get the chance to do like right now I'm doing advanced screenwriting which is great because I know I wanted that extra like writing you know opportunity um, and I'm also doing acting which is so fun because I feel like that's such an important part of directing so yeah my senior year was basically is basically just working on this one production for a film and then I have some other side projects you know that I'm doing and that's about it. All right, so I'm here to answer the question. Is film school worth it? After all of that, after kind of going through my experiences now, two months out from graduating, would I go to film school again? And the answer is 100% yes. <laughs> um, is all of the information that you learn, could you technically find it online, whether that be through like YouTube videos or reading about filmmaking or just watching movies in general. Yes, um, a lot of the info that you're gonna learn, you can find online. But the difference is you have a creative place every year and every day in which you have to make something. You know, I think it's easy, like if I didn't go to school, it might have been easy to just kind of give up because I didn't have that structure at least something to get me started with having a structure of like okay these I have to make a short film in like the next two months or I have to write the script another reason why it was so important is you get on set experience and you meet people and I think this is the biggest thing and film school and the art school in general is a place where you can meet with other collaborators and you can go on their sets and learn a lot from them and get feedback from peers and actually get people to help you make the films because that's the biggest thing, right? If you're just an independent filmmaker and you haven't gone to school, you have to really work hard to reach out and find people um, you know, to work with because if you're a director, you need people to DP, you need people to write your scripts and produce your scripts and help you out and all those other aspects. Film school really gives you 
you know, an outlet of all these people with a similar interests and with different concentrations. So that when you leave school, you know, you already have somebody who you like to work with for sound or who you like their DP style. You have this group of people that you can work with for the future. And that's something that I feel like if I didn't go to school, I would have never had. You know, maybe I could have looked up on like Facebook groups and stuff like that, but this was easy. You know, it's right there. There's all these people graduating, working on the same kind of projects as you. And so you learn a lot from going on sets and working on other people's projects and inviting people onto yours. I think it just taught me a lot about like myself and I kind of grew up with it. Uh, you know, like right after high school, you're still a kid and I'm still a kid now. I'm still learning to be an adult and learning how to navigate like the world, especially after college. But something that I feel is like being in school with a little bit more freedom, you still have that structure after high school. So it's nice because it's not like you're just thrown out into this world of, okay, I want to be a filmmaker. How do I do that? Film school does prep you a little bit and gives you ideas of different paths that you can go down. Um, and also just being in a classroom and workshop environment is so important. Like screenwriting, whenever you have a screenwriting class, it's so important to be in class and to workshop your scripts with others because that collaborative process and people having an idea is what's gonna make you a better filmmaker and vice versa when you're showing cuts of your films in class that feedback from others and seeing it and getting feedback from the professors is something that's really important and that's ultimately going to help you grow um, and that's something you know you're obviously not going to get if you don't go to school so that would be my two cents. Everyone's um, journey is a little bit different. Um, this was like kind of a weird time to go to school, you know, with COVID and everything. But overall, I feel like extremely satisfied with my Point Park experience. So if my two cents means anything, um, if you're thinking about film schools, do your research. Also figure out what's important to you and kind of what concentration you might be thinking of because they have two separate tracks. They have like production, they have like studies and then screenwriting, screenwriting, specifically screenwriting. Um, cinema production, you know, is what I did. So that's all the producing of films and stuff like that. And then cinema studies is more kind of analyzing films. So it's not as much making films, but it's more diving deep into films and analyzing them. Uh, so yeah, I would say um, overall, it was a great time and you know the memories and the friends I made during Point Park is something that you know I'm gonna have forever and for me that you can't really put a cost on that you know if I get to wake up every day and I get to go to school and do what I love with the people that I love that's really all that matters you know and of course I'm gonna have to pay back loans and all of that jazz but you know I feel like it was worth it so yeah, hope you all enjoy. Thank you. And remember, adventure starts with you. Bye, guys. Also, I have a very big announcement coming very soon, so get excited, stay tuned, and I'll see you later.